that this predicted property values crash that Freddie Mac has written about is actually beginning to get underway first in Florida. And that risks cascading into a worse crisis in Florida and then out of Florida in coastal property value losses uh, up and down our coasts, all the way potentially up even to my home state of Rhode Island. Insurers of coastal properties are charging more than ever. They set prices by the risks associated with hurricanes that seem more frequent and powerful, floods that seem more common, and shorelines disappearing because of rising sea levels. There's a core underlying reason for the insurance problems that Florida is experiencing right now and for the risks that it faces. And that is our persistent failure to deal with the problem of climate change. Senator Sheldon Whitehouse is concerned that citizens insurance may not be able to pay claims resulting from a major hurricane striking Tampa Bay or South Florida. The concern is that citizens financially gets wiped out by a big storm and every U.S. citizen is going to have to pay for it, fair or unfair. Yeah, I think that's the, the general problem. Citizens Insurance spokesperson Michael Peltier responded to the Senate investigation, quote, it is important for citizens policyholders and all Floridians to know that citizens is structured under Florida law so that it will always be able to protect its customers and pay claims.